If you don't have a plan, then you're most likely planning to fail. And it's sad to say, but 97% of traders have never even created a trading plan before. So let me show you how to do this so you can improve your trading in under 10 minutes. But before we get started, if you guys enjoy my content, hit that like button for me. And without further ado, let's get into my computer. Before we get started, this is my new website. It is officially out with all my up-to-date products. FX University is now $97. That is a one-time fee. This is my top Forex course. Great for any beginner trader. If you want to trade live with me every day and learn how to trade US 30, I do have the live trading now open. And for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, you have to go here to click get started and you're going to have to book a call with me. The first thing that we need to go over that I see a lot of traders doing wrong is when they go into a trade, they're staring at the chart nonstop. You guys, you don't have to do that. That's the beautiful thing about trading is we don't have to stare at it all day long. What we can do is simply enter our trade and let the trade do its thing. We don't have to monitor it all day long. So the best thing that you could do is just set and forget your trade. So let's say I'm going into a trade right here. I have my ideal candlestick that I'm gonna enter on and I have my stop loss and take profit. Now what we can do is set an alert. If we go right here and create an alert, you can put in these numbers for our take profit and these numbers for our stop loss and the alert will notify us when the trade hits our stop loss or take profit. You guys don't wanna be wasting all that time in your day watching the markets because there's absolutely no control behind it. It's absolutely pointless. So that is the first step. Just set and forget your position and go about your day. This is why you don't wanna close your trade too early. Let's say that I have my position right here. My stop loss is 400 pips and my take profit is 500 pips. But let's actually do like the math and everything we need to know behind this. So closing trades too early. Here's an example, our profit, our take profit should be 1000 pips. But since we're impatient traders, it's only 500 pips from closing manually. And I used to do this all the time where I would have a trade set and my take profit would be 1000 pips, but I was like, do you know what? It's already at $500 in profit, it's up 500 pips. Let me just close the trade early. I, I don't know if it's gonna hit my take profit. And I was leaving so much money on the table by constantly trying to manually close a trade instead of letting it do its thing. So if 10 trades were taken, five of the trades were wins, and five of them were losses, that's a 50% win rate that is pretty average for a lot of beginner traders. But the profit and pips would be 2,500 pips if we close manually, prematurely. But if we close automatically, we let the trade do its thing where it hit the take profit and close us out automatically, it would be 5,000 pips. So at the end of the day, we're taking like half of the profit off of the table by manually exiting the trade. And this is why it's so important. You need to get into the habit of when you enter a trade, you walk away. And I know a lot of you have a boring life. You don't have anything exciting going on and that's why you're going into the markets and manually closing it because you don't have enough stuff going on in your life. Once you enter a trade, you guys should have a schedule where if you enter a trade, you go for a walk, you go work out, you make breakfast, you do something to keep your mind off the market so you're not staring at the markets like a freaking lunatic. Guys, don't drive yourself crazy. Set the trade and forget it. Now we need to keep in mind too to enter the same loss size each trade. Your loss size will change if your stop loss changes, but what I'd recommend that you guys do is really focus on keeping the same stop loss for every single trade. Um, I have a pretty decent, I have a pretty good size stop loss just so if in case, in case there is a false breakout on US 30, I have my order protected. But you kind of want to keep the same lot size each trade because if you enter like a 50 lot here and it's the same lot size, or let's say you have like a 50 lot and your stop loss one time is a thousand pips. Then another time it's 1500 pips. When you enter a different lot size with the same stop loss, 
it's going to contradict the losses. And some of the losses are going to be bigger than others. Some of the wins might be bigger than the others. The best thing that you can do is just continually use the same lot size when you are trading. Now, the next thing that you guys need to do is create a trading plan. You need to have your goal set up, short-term, mid-term, long-term goals. And you can go and make a Google Drive and make your trading plan, but your goal should be on here. If you do not have a plan, then you plan to fail. And this is where the trading plan is so important. Mainly the goals, you wanna figure out like, what are your goals as a trader? Are you trying to trade to quit your job? Are you trying to get to 10K a month, 5K a month? If you don't have a general direction on where you need to be, then your trading is gonna be very stagnant and you're not gonna be knowing what you're gonna be doing. So your goals, you should have short-term goals, mid-term goals, long-term goals. Short-term goals are usually about one to six months. Mid-term goals are about six to 12 months and long-term goals are about one to three years. So figure out what are your goals you definitely want to figure out what type of trader that you are. With me, I am a scalp slash intraday trader. I look for trending markets to catch a reversal, higher low or lower high, or continuation setup. I don't do well in choppy markets. So you want to identify like the market conditions that you don't do well in, only take a trade. Once I take a trade, I walk away, set and forget. Okay, time frames, you want to identify what time frames that you're using. Pairs that you trade, I only trade US 30. Market conditions, I don't trade choppy markets and I don't trade news events like CPI. I also don't trade Wednesdays, I look at the minute 15 time frame. I don't know why that's there, that shouldn't be there. Delete that. Now my trading rules, this is gonna be super important for you guys. You wanna list all your trading rules that you have. Here's a couple of examples that I have. Never risk more than 2% per trade. That's personal with me. One trade per day. I don't need to take 20 trades in a day like most traders. No trading on Wednesdays. So that's going to be a big one right there. Your trading or your trading rules. Risk management. I'm going to risk 1.1% on funded accounts. On live accounts, I'll risk 1% to 3%. And obviously this contradicts what I just said. But this is mainly for my own money. When I'm using prop firms, I'm going to be a little less risk adverse because I want to be able to keep those prop firm accounts as long as possible. If I take two losses back to back, I'm done for the week. Very, very good rule right there. One trade per day, no setup, no trade. Withdrawal rules. With prop firms, I'll withdraw when they allow me to. With live accounts, withdraw anything after the deposit. So if I have 10K in my account and I turn it to $15,000 in a week, I'm going to take out $5,000. Now let's go to the next step. Now risk management, this is the most important part of this video. Well, to figure out risk management and what we need to do, we need to figure out our account size, then the lot size, then the stop loss we're gonna use, and the amount to risk per trade. So here's an example. If we have 200K in an FTMO account, the lot size would be a 20 lot. Now if we have a thousand pips that we catch. If we catch a thousand pips or lose a thousand pips, we're gonna lose $2,000. So if you used a 20 lot and had a stop loss at a thousand pips, that would be 1% of your account. You wanna risk one to 3% of your account per trade. So you need to figure out what lot size should I use for this stop loss to be risking 1% of my account, 2% of my account. Figure this out because this is going to be extremely important and really determine whether you're going to be able to see your capital and your account growing over time or you're going to be taking those big hits and small wins. At the end of the day, you want to be taking bigger wins than losses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.